Okay. Ähm. Um. Okay. What is this next fight? Fucking plasma or whatever? It's like the cactron shit. Wow, Cactron actually outspeeding my fucking Butterfree. Wait, does it though? It does not. Okay. Um. Zoom reel on Sand Slash. Kingler on Skarmory. And just like whatever on Vibrava, it's probably fine. That is true, they do call me Siggy Butt Brain. That is what they call me. Get some Lumberries on these guys. There's no, usually I try to play games that remove EVs completely. Oh, what's up, Nanak Sam? Uh, I want lefties on this, I guess. Alright. Dude, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we... Our Berg is okay, I think. It's not like... God awful, I guess. Don't I have a command like DS settings or some shit? Yeah, there it is. Alright. <clears throat> For games with or without fairy types, <laughs> with or without fairy toes. <laughs> I like, I like fairy toes in my, like, <laughs> in my game personally. <laughs> What's up, Purple Cliff? How you doing, my friend? Now, fairy types, on the other hand. Not the biggest fan. <clears throat> this doesn't have Sucker Punch, right? I've never seen the Sucker Punch. It's your favorite type. I know, I was kind of clowning on it earlier, but uh, I think ground type is really cool. That, that's way more damage than I expected that to do. Uh, let's Aqua Jet here. Ooh, it doesn't quite kill. So just switch to my own Sand Slash. Nobody could have seen this coming. Bulldoze doesn't hit on the ground. I'm fucked. Okay, so we pivot through Butterfree. But I'm pretty sure this is faster than me. So just go to hit him on top. Yeah, there we go. And now we fake out. Easy. And now we use Kingler. But to be fair, my Kingler has nothing to fucking hit this with because this Kingler sucks so much goddamn ass. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to protect because he can just nasty plot. I'll do it anyway. I mean, even even a Kingler with um with this fucking move set is still like kind of insane, as you can see. 
I'm not gonna lie, shell armor coming in kind of clutch here. That was a good crit. Okay, the Bravo. Fucking hit him on top or something? I don't know. I am unfortunately faster. Okay, but because I'm on. Wait, can I die a dragon breath or some shit? Probably, right? Let's switch to this, I guess. What is the coverage move here? So much fucking damage. I, I always forget how buff Dig is in this game, I guess. Flinch? Let's go through Butterfree, I guess. Put it to sleep? And to... Yeah, I guess this works, right? Just go to Golduck and then when he digs back down, we just go back to Butterfree. It's pretty safe. Okay. Uh, next Tide's Death session. I don't think there's one next week either, because I think Mr. Moot said that he's... Hello, I am here to say that I support Jan, number one Carly Rae Jepsen fan in the world. We um, love you. I am a big fan of Carly Rae Jepsen, that is true. I don't know if I'm a number one fan, but... Definitely up there. Thank you, Abe, for 43 months. Welcome back. I miss you, my friend. Very excited for TwitchCon. I feel like there's some new Carly Rae Jepsen coming soon, boys. I can feel it. Um, I'm definitely teaching U-turn to Volbeat here, right? That seems very good. Over signal beam, I think. I think this is like this thing is like mostly there for support, no? Single beam is a good move. What is um What's is Spark even good? What's Volbeat's offense? Seventy three attack. I mean that's it's good. Yeah, I saw the new Joseph Anderson video well I saw that it's live, I'm gonna watch it after the stream. Um, oh, Tekra Tour? I didn't know they were on tour. I don't, the thing is, I don't think I like their new stuff. I think I just like their old stuff. Um, but I might, I might go, I might ask my friend if he wants to go. He'd probably be into it. He'll probably be, I don't know, we'll see. What are the dates? Oh, you guys know what I realized today? Insane. So, Gamescom. Happening in Cologne, um, this August, right? I'm going, obviously. Excited. I booked a 100 Gex concert last year for this February, and it got moved because of COVID. And I saw today that the concert got moved to, Colo to, to Cologne the day before Gamescom. So I'm literally going to be there anyway. But I'll also get to go to a 100 Gex concert. How insane. She forgets the only Tail Glow. Dude, Tail Glow is fucking useless. Let's, let's fuck keep it a buck and a half. Fuck that shit. That is so cap.
And the funny, the funnest part about that is, is that that is like the day when Pokemon Worlds ends in London. So I'm gonna go to London for Pokemon Worlds, then immediately fly back to Cologne, go to the Winter Gex concert, and then <clears throat> do Gamescom. It's gonna be fun as fuck. Okay. What is EU I see? Like EU I see your nuts or it's your favorite one on our Gex song? Um Hand crushed by a mallet, maybe? It's probably money machine, let's be real. International Championship is in Germany. Um, I think Wolfie asked me to come. It's like in, is it in April in Frankfurt? I'm going to something, I think, to hang out with Wolfie. This cover is insane, man. Uh, yeah, I'll be there next, because I'm. Uh, DM me. Wait, oh, 22nd to 24th. Hold on. That's perfect. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, brother. <laughs> okay, hold on. E U I C. 22nd to 24th. Okay. <clears throat> God damn. God damn. Okay. All right. Uh Castellia City Gem boys. Jazz cover of You Will Know Our Names from Xenoblade Chronicles. Sheer Force is just better than Battle Armor, I think. I think it's just better. Okay, so we go... Can we go Armaldo for Yen Mega? I feel like in the past we haven't been able to for some reason. Yeah, Bug Buzz crit kills us. So I think we can actually do about that. So let's find a different solution here, I guess. We don't have a lot of different solutions. Can we go Volbeat, maybe? Spark does 50%, but we take so much damage. Um, man, my fucking bug type answers are fucking trash, boys. Jesus. Oh my god. Insane. Um... 
I can't go combust. I think I think I have to just literally dodge the crit with Armaldo. <laughs> I mean, it's <sighs> not every crit kills me. I'll be okay. Let's go 35 though. I think. I think speed dump. Improve our chances a little bit. I can't kill Scyther afterwards though, and then I have to deal with that shit. Well, what are you gonna do? Oh wait, can I go Kingler? Kinda? Yeah, I can go Kingler, fuck it. And then... Scyther comes out, who wants to, I think... He can't, Scyther can't do shit to Kingler, Jesus. But we can also just switch to our model. Wait, that's the wrong Scyther. Yeah, this one has fucking superpower. <laughs> um, and it's random move. Wait, no. No, it's guaranteed superpower on Kingler. So we could pivot, maybe. Through, um... I for sure have a fighting resist. Let's get Volbeat, I guess? Yeah, Volbeat, slow U-turn, Armaldo. Okay, easy. Easy clap. Boom. Boom. Something like this, probably. I mean, yeah, battle armor is really nice. Well, let's put it this way. Battle armor can do stuff that sheer force cannot, right? Um, for a lot of standard trainers, but just like hitting certain ranges and stuff, I don't know, seems really important. Okay. Do you think channel point rewards are too high right now? No. I just haven't streamed a lot. That's why nobody has like a lot of channel points. But once I stream a lot more, you'll see a lot more redemptions for channel points. When I was streaming a lot, I, I remember having to put the channel point what's up. I did not restore my protect PP. That's a bit of an end. But he protects a lot anyway, so I just get leftovers off of that, I guess. Guaranteed superpower. Slow U turn that shit. Into Armaldo for the rock slide. So far, so easy. I've never gotten zero deaths past Berg, right? Wait, no, have I? Yo. Fuck, did I once? Did I get all the way to Elisa with no deaths? I, no, I think I've gone all the way up to Elisa with zero, right? I've had a first death on Elisa. Yeah. Restore some PP as well here, especially on you. Okay, um. Yeah, this is the Ninjas trainer. Love the Emerald Kaz YouTube video. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How much faster could you complete Kaz if you could access Pokemon Box in the overworld like new games? Not that much faster. Most of the time, Emerald Kai's is spin planning.
I deal with Trindamere. Um, <clears throat> usually by, uh, I, I feel like the best way to deal with them is just not queue a League of Legends game. What's your favorite Forero candy? Um, Chocobons. Kinda Chocobons. For, Kinda is Ferrero, right? Okay, so I think we'll we'll just use fucking Kingler for Ninjask. Um, I do need something for Masquerade. Hold on. Let's maybe bring the Azu on here, I guess. <clears throat> Volbeat actually does pretty well against it. Um. I'll do something like this. We'll figure it out as we go. I don't need any Lumberries, right? Let's go Lumberry on, um... Volby. The rest is all Citrus. Probably usually better than Rock Smash, let's be real. Especially since we don't have Shear Force. Yeah, almost just leveled it again. Okay. Love and support from Mongolia? Oh shit. Shout out. I always had a very loose idea that I kind of wanted to road trip through the through Mongolia, but it looks very beautiful. Fuck, chat is making me want to play League of Legends again. Why would you guys do this to me? Pretty cringe if you ask me. Stay in. XP is a little bit of a problem. Because the problem is I can't switch to Armaldo. I'm just gonna get fucking owned. Well, I guess I don't die to. I only got a double crit. Yeah, this this is actually completely safe. Unless he double crits. Well, actually, double crit also survives because no, it doesn't. Okay, let's. Wait, no, he needs to only crit once. I can't math at all. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so bad at this goddamn fucking video game. Okay. Um. Can I remedy this by going back to Kingler and playing it off as if I was just splitting XP? I think that should work. Yeah. That should work. So now we can protect. 
can press return. Uh, Aridos is insane in this game. It's got huge power. Okay, I think we should be fine, seeing how we're shell armor. I don't know, when catching Krabby at this point, where it doesn't fucking have Iron Head or Waterfall, I'm kind of- I, I think ba Shell Armor is just better. It's just like late game, like... Did I just double protect? I don't actually know. Okay. <clears throat> Will be time, baby. Oh, I'm synchronized too. He got fucking owned. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, I can't U turn this. How am I planning to kill this? I kind of have to. Ex it's either Armaldo, which I sacrificed HP on for no reason, or Combuskin. I mean, Combuskin is super safe. 18. That is the legal age of consent, yeah. <clears throat> True. Oh, welcome back, Andy Pox. Yeti. Appreciate it. Alright. I really don't know what I'm doing on fucking Berg, dude. I think I have to just play it by ear. I'll see if I wanna if I wanna start fake out rock slide or helping hand rock slide, and that's kind of my only two options. I don't really know what else I would go for. Okay, um, I mean this Armada has a lot of attack, it's got that going for it, let's put this to doubles, um, if we're going for the helping hand strat we're just straight up taking a thunder. Yeah this is just bad. I think it's I think it's fake out rock tomb or something. Maybe. Could like pre-damage too. <laughs> How do you want your steak cooked? Medium rare. For sure. Yeah, I think I think the helping hand shit is incredibly bad here. So like Ludi may be on the lead. I could see. Um for a fake out on Volbeat. Cuz I can I can't really go This sucks. <laughs> All of this fucking blows. For real, dude. I mean, I think the only sensible team I can bring is like something like this. I think, I think also, this is, 
Both of my fake out Pokemon just fucking die, is the problem. <laughs> like, Illumise. I guess. Nah, it's not that bad, actually. Okay, so how much is Armelda doing? Um. Okay. How fast is Volbeat? 63. Does... Hitmon... Hitmontop outspeed that by chance? It does, actually. Okay. So I can teach it, like, return. Okay, and then we would at least avoid... But then, like, Iliomize is using Psychic. Or it's just Quiver dancing up and fucking killing me. That's also an option. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This this shit sucks. Um, this is a really annoying fight. I think the only sensible team I can bring is something like this. Um... Okay, actually, what if we just cheese the fuck out of this with Butterfree? Sleep Powder. I think that's the play. I'm pretty sure that's the play, actually. The problem is, because this Armaldo is literally minimum speed, it will not outspeed Illumise after Rock Tomb. Fuck me, dude. So if he goes Quiver Dance, I'm just fucked. I think this is still the best play. I could Tailwind. If it was Gen fucking... If it was fucking Gen 8 mechanics with Tailwind, it would actually be insane, but... I don't know, I, th I think this is probably my best lead. Well, if, if she- if he Quiver Dances turn 2, I just Rage Powder- uh, turn 1, I just Rage Powder turn 2, right? That's kinda good. Or maybe I just want a Tailwind, who knows? Um, everyone wants Protect here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna teach Protect to... this. And then we need Pluck on Combuskin. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> okay. Protect on Volbeat, can I afford it? Fuck Helping Hand, man. This shit is so cap. I don't think I can afford it on Butterfree, right? Yeah, I want all these moves. Alright, let's just make it fun, I don't know. I don't want to overplan this. I can definitely wipe here, for sure. I don't have, like, any answers to anything, ever.
Um, I don't know, this team sucks so much goddamn ass. <laughs> the XP until one for for the level up because the level because then I'm still within the level cap but I always level up in the fight. Okay, what am I doing for items? I think leftover Kingler is correct. Um Citrus Berry Armaldo for sure. Needs to get as much value out of its HP as possible. I think for Butterfree... I think I also see the Citrus Berry. Is there like a troll item I can go to tr epically troll him? Maybe like... Um, yeah, no, I got no idea. I got nothing. Let's just go Citrus, fuck it. I'm very much willing to sacrifice Butterfree for this fight. Yeah, I'm probably just going to play it aggressively. The thing is, everything that I'm bringing, I'm not really willing to sacrifice. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of the Hitmon top. Do I have something that has similar value but is better to sack? Not really. I guess Azu maybe? Not Sandslash. Nah, I really like the fake out front him on top. It's pretty huge. Okay. Alright. All right, we're just going to Butterfree Cheese it. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I think Protect on Butterfree could actually be quite good here. Ah, fuck it. What if I went no attacking move? I, I mean, I would get rid of Silverwind, but then I, I could just teach Struggle Bug after if I really need it. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Get some value out of that bitch.
Yeah, we also have 60 base power, hidden power bug on it, if we really need something like that. Okay. Did I teach Pluck? I did. Okay. Alright, let's rock slide and put the Volbeat to sleep. See how this plays out, boys. That was not what I was hoping for. Alright, we'll protect um, our Malta this turn by using Rage Powder. And then just get the double kill. Or I could be really greedy in Tailwind. But I'm just hoping that Illing Mice clicks... Uh, uh, nah, it'll always Psychic, right? How much damage does Armaldo take here? Quite a bit from Psychic, and it's always Psychic too. But I guess there's a chance that it just straight up targets Butterfree. In which case Rage Powder is completely, so 50% of the time Rage Powder is just useless. I could Protect and Tailwind, but the problem is that Illumise will still be faster than Armaldo after Tailwind, so it doesn't make sense. Um, doesn't make sense to do that. I'm gonna Rock Slide and Tailwind. Fuck it. Dude. Okay, that's kind of fine, actually? Nice. We're kind of online now? Just put the Volbeat to sleep next turn. Dude, these are revolutionary new Berg strats, boys. I'm not learning safeguard. All right, there's Yen Mega. Um, I could sleep the Yen Mega, but if it it has Protect, right? I kind of don't want to kill Volbeat yet. I kind of just want to put it to sleep. I'm pretty sure I just Rock Tomb Yen Mega and I Sleep Powder the Volbeat. Also, no Protect this turn. Perfect, we get a free kill. Wonderful. This is kind of hype. Okay, I can't break the thing here. I'm just gonna Rock Tomb and Sleep Powder, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what else is a what else is a Butterfree to do here? Nice crit. Probably didn't matter. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Rip Butterfree. Alright. I probably just Rock Slide now. And I bring out the Combuskin. Actually, just leave the Dust Dogs alive. Rock Tomb the Volbeat?
Yeah, let's do that. And bulk up. Oh, that's annoying. I forgot about that. So the dust axe stays asleep, I guess. Okay. Terracross and Scizor in the back. I kind of don't want them both on the field at the same time. I'll rock slide here. No more Tailwind, though. Um... I have to double target the Volbeat, I guess. Rock slide would have been better because it means that. Did I rock slide? No, I need a rock slide there to keep Dustox um, using heal order. Okay. There's the Scizor. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is switch to Hitmontop and Protect. I didn't teach Protect. Um, okay, I'm going to bulk up this turn. Because next turn I can fake out Flame Wheel, the Scizor. Scizor is um, sturdy, so I can't just kill it. That's pretty significant damage. Like, what am I going to do? I could have faked out Dust Docks this turn if I if I just like attacked Scizor, but it's fine. I kind of want to see Heracross here, but I don't know. If oh wait, it's always Heracross, and plus two Pluck should kill it. I think I win. It's kind of scary if Dust Docks is targeting. Uh, Please hit him on top. Nice. That's so good. Okay. The only issue I see now Combuskin may be leveling to 37 and we miss out on fucking Blaze Cake or whatever, but that's fine. Let's protect Hitmontop and just pluck the Heracross. Nice. Uh, he did 34 with the first one. My best move here is to switch both of these guys out. Let's go Volbeat on this. If I actually get out of this with only having lost Butterfree, that's kind of insane. What item is this? It's leftovers. Okay, so we go knock. Oh wait, knockoff doesn't actually. No, no, it does. <laughs> okay, and protect. Electro web. It's kind of fine. I can't get crit, so.
Alright, let's just go full damage here, return and spark. I think that's safe. Yeah, if that Volby would have stayed asleep longer on both occasions, this would have been actually like an insane deathless point. Nice crit there. But I mean, it's still awesome. Like, Butterfree's not that bad of a loss here whatsoever. This fight is really fun, man. Running some ads, I'll be right back. Tip, 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 m'lady. Uh. Alright. One death is pretty insane here. I ain't gonna lie. Keep it a buck and a half with you guys. Alright, so this next part is actually really interesting. Because it's two rival fights that I've never done before, because this is the first time I've ever gotten here with a Trico pick. Encounter in the Desert was Kingler. We just fished there if we don't have Kingler at that point. We Pepe Pains. No, I have Combuskin from, uh, from Route 2, Shaking Grass. Um, let's see, uh, level cap is, what do I usually go to here? Like 40, right? Or do I go like 42? Oh, I think I go like 42 and like 41 on Blaziken, right? Yeah, there's like not a lot of fights. Breaking up with you, these ad breaks are getting way too long. Well, be happy that you're getting streams at all, okay? Do I want Gyro Ball on this? No shot, bro. Dude, okay. How, how bad is Hitmontop's learn set, though? Like, what the fuck, man? Dude, fighting type moment, seriously. Yeah, I don't know, Beast John. We'll see, I guess. Probably need anything else other than triple kick. Well, low sweep is just better, but yeah. Let's go with rock smash here. Soak is like actually like one of the techiest move in the game, but um, I'm not I'm not teaching it here Yeah, it's kind of sad because I have like one of the best like anti Sharon rain like teams if you had a rain team that I've ever seen <laughs> but 
I have like two fake out users. I have Ludicolo. Um, wait, Grovile Andes. Do I do I delay Grovile evolution? I feel like we've talked about this before. I think you want, yeah, because you want Dragon Claw, you don't delay it. I think that's what I remember doing. Uh, delay Trico for Giga Drain and Thunder Punch. I see. But, like, honestly, I haven't used Grovile a single time, so yeah, I probably should delay Trico. Well, we can think about that next time. Yeah, you take the Evo here. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but hey, Mr. it doesn't change guy. anything. What's up? Dude, how is... How is Sandslash's moveset so fucking garbage, man? There we go, that's a real fucking move. Jesus Christ. What did I lose Sepal on last run? Does anyone remember? Megadrin's still kind of good. Fuck Pursuit. Was it Elisa? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. That fucking Elisa fight. Dude, that attempt had some heater fucking battles. <laughs> Don't get it fucking twisted. Yeah, thank you for the uh, gifted sub, I appreciate it, man. We do want Rain Dance on this. Okay. <sighs> Can you stop dismantling my apartment, please? Take all the items off before I export here. Jesus, God, you guys are so cringe. Oh my God. I'm not the one playing a children's monster game for a 2k man children. True, you're just one of the man children. <laughs> True, that's a good point. Cool, 
cool, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. So what do we want to do on good old good old Bianca. You chose Trico. Bannet, Typhlosion, Cradilly, Swampy. Okay, so immediately I know I want Lumberry Ludicolo for the Swampert. Um, I also immediately know that I want Blaziken for the Cradley, I guess. The Typhlosion is Choice Specs, which is super interesting. We'll get into that in a second. It all kind of depends on when it comes out, right? Okay, so what do we want to kill Bennett with? Let's say we want to kill it with... Um, I don't really have a good dark type. I just go Kingler? Lumberry Kingler, I guess? I don't have enough damage on Kingler is the problem. Um... I don't know, I'll just- I've, I've come so far without the gems, I'll play without gems now, fuck it. Fuck it, dude. I mean, what else can I use on Bennett here? That's pretty much it. I would've kept Foresight, maybe. <laughs> I guess i go, like, Volbeat or some shit. That seems kinda cringe, bro. I mean, like, Kingler wins, right? Yeah, it's fine. Pretty sure that baits Typhlosion already. No, it baits Swamper, which is fine. And then that baits... Typhlosion, I think. I think. Pretty sure. So what does Typhlosion want to do on Ludicolo? It always wants the Lava Plume, so we could just go to Azumarill and mix this guy's shit up. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. What do I want as my last member? Is maybe something to deal with Bennett as well, so like Armaldo or some shit, and I think Volbeat is just literally always good to bring. Bug Electric is kind of a good fucking typing, huh? Okay, let's go Lumberry. Lumberry. I'll oh, just fucking Lumberry everyone. Who the fuck cares? Alright. Level curve for the game. I, I think I did ev all totems and all, like, island leaders or whatever as, as level caps. For Sun and Moon. Yeah, thanks for all the Prime subs, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's the plan, Machinko. Guys, we're so close to the sub to the sub goal. Look at that. Can we get just a few more fucking gifters? Are there any gifters in the chat tonight, please? There's a sub goal, I'll show my asshole on stream. <laughs> I couldn't deliver that one with a straight face, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna show my asshole on stream. <laughs> I 
Imagine though. Just take the ban for it. Well, I knocked off the ghost gem. Get fucking shit on. Thank you for the uh, five gifted Dr. Fart PhD. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thanks for all the content, Sunny Boy Less Than Three. What did you just call me? The Willionaire, thank you for 10 gifted subs. Initiates Pokemon cries. You guys are going crazy. Fucking hell. Do you shave your asshole? Well, this is the kind of information that people are subscribing for right now. It'd be stupid to give away for free. I think Fake Out would probably just reduce my Giga Drain healing, huh? By like a quarter of an HP. Are you okay? You sound like you're dying. Okay. Stay safe. Thanks for getting me through work today. No problem. Oh, I don't have a rock type move, huh? Or a fighting type move, rather. It's a little awkward. It's fine, it's always a 2k. Okay, no Omni Boost, pogers. I wanna know. Do we not have pogers added, by the way? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is using earth power. Um. Oh, it's fuck, it's earth power or extra sensory. Well, shit. All right, good luck, Ludi. Please be earth power, please be earth power, please be earth power. Can someone add pogers? Thank you. Mitty Bitty, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it, guys. We're getting so close. Okay, it was Earth Power, but he crit me. It's actually fake out here. People just type. No, no, that's Magic, that's Poggers. I'm talking about Pogers. It's a much different emote that conveys a much different emotion. You don't understand. I'll gift 1k subs if you shove a Ferrothorn in your ass. Yeah, that's a deal. Let's do it. Do it then, pussy. You know what? Sooner. Like, at sooner. Me, me shoving a ferrothorn up my ass would happen sooner than you gifting a thousand subs, right? You poor fuck. That's probably more than you paid in taxes all year last year. What does the Sharon team look like here? Oh, the sh is the Sharon team a... What the fuck is this shit? Oh, it's it's Sun. Okay. Got it. Cool. Cool. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's, that's totally cool. That's cool. Wait, so does his Blaziken still have a speed boost? 
Or is that also sheer force now with the changes? His Blaziken still has speed boost, yeah? That's not Pogers at all. Okay. I mean, the Snorlax is still there, at least. It's Fire Gem Flare. This is way harder than the Rain one, no? Am I crazy? This is insane. What are you what are you supposed to do against this? Billy. Like I think Lele's rock ice, right? I guess you could probably start by one-shotting Glalie. At least you don't get intimidated. But that Glalie is probably fast as fuck too. Um. Damn, that flare on has good coverage. Okay. I think the way I see here is actually Armaldo, maybe. If we can just draw kills towards the other side. And then we should be able to kill both in two turns. Like, let's say we, I don't know, fucking... What would that look like? We would lead... Fake out this rock smash. Yeah, that would work too. Let me see if this is possible though. If I still had Grovile, it would be. Because I could do like... I like lead this plus Armaldo. I could protect Sceptile. I could Rock Slide. And then I could switch Sceptile for... Blaziken and then Rock Slide again. That's pretty good. But I don't have really anything on deck to actually deal with his Blaziken, like, at all. I could also set up a rain dance. <laughs> I would kind of fuck with him, but. And then I have like Swift Swim Golduck. Okay, can I get into a spot where. Oh, wait, I could just switch in Golduck. Does my Golduck outspeed his Blaziken in Sun? Probably, right? Okay, I think, I think I'm seeing a plan form here, boys. Sharon Route 4. Yeah, we outspeed and kill with Twisted Spoon. Okay. Fuck, I really should have kept Grovile. This would be insane. Because nah, the problem is it always baits Gunk Shot, kind of, right? What else can I use in this slot? I want to be able to switch into like fire move plus ice move. The problem is Volbeat Bait's rock slide from Glalie, right? Kind of cringe. Maybe, like, har unironically, hard pre-damaged Sand Slash does it, right? Like, while, while, like, Flame Wheel should be the highest damage move from Flareon, and then Icicle Crush should be the highest damage from Glalie. And then you can just get a ra for into range from both. You protect for one turn, then you switch to Golduck. 
on the second rock slide. Does rock slide even to it KO? Oh, it actually one hit KOs. It's a range on Flareon. That's really not ideal. And then on Glalie, it's not a range at all. What, what would we bait here? What is the rock slide range? 50 50. That's a little cringe. If this baits Blaziken, it's super fucked. And I think it does bait Blaziken. No, I think it always ba I think- I'm pretty sure it always baits Snorlax because it sees Earthquake, right? That's not terrible. Oh, a Brave Bird, right, right, right. No, it'll always be Blaziken. The, because the problem is then Blaziken is on the field for longer and is then... I guess he could also protect when I target him with Golduck, right? Hmm. I think this is still good. Like, it can't actually do that much to Golduck, but if Golduck is like super targeted down... It's still kind of an issue. But like, if I switch to Ozzy on the other side, like, not a lot is gonna happen. And then I bring, like, this in the back for, like, fake outs and killing the Snorlax, and then, like, probably just Volbeat in the back or something. Yeah, let's just find out how much I have to pre-damage Sand Slash and just do it from there. Fuck it. I have to go down to 61 HP. Let's go down to 35 to bait Ice Shard. That doesn't bait anything else from Flareon, right? Yeah, okay, 35, so... Forty-two HP. Okay. Um. Hi. That sounds scuffed. I think I can. I think I can still handle it if we one, one shot Flareon. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's give him Rock Smash actually to kill. Um... Snorlax. Okay, what if I... Can I kill with Sand Slash? Oh wait, actually... Okay, why don't I just... Mm, the reason I don't like going for the double KO is because it, I'm not in a good position, right? To kill Blaziken. It'll be fine. If Flareon does die, it'll just see a kill on fucking Sand Slash. But then it'll have speed boost at the next turn, which is really not ideal. But like, what are you gonna do, man? I, I think this is- I think this is fine. I think we'll be able to figure it out. We have a lot of contingency and stuff. I don't think things are going to go too crazy here. Uh, 
Okay. Hold on. Can I go Lumberry on Golduck if I level up enough? Probably not, right? Yeah, no. No shot. Ooh, actually 44 is a 93% chance to kill. Nah, fuck it. This is citrus. This is also citrus. Okay, reteach low sweep here, really important. Okay. I don't have a flying resist, right? I have Kingler, actually. I think Kingler is a really good pivot here. Probably a better one than... than Volbeat is. Or, like, Volbeat is also a good one, I guess. Volbeat switches into the... Hmm. No, I need a Brave Bird switch in for sure. Um, let's do Kingler. Let's do Kingler over Azu, I think. Although Azu has the Aqua Jet, that's kind of huge. Okay, I'll, let's. I'll, I'll do this. I think. Yeah. Okay, I gotta I gotta bring down Sand Slash to how much HP does he have? Forty two, right? Is Ice Shard range? Let's do it. We need a cool name for this kind of double battle strat where you lead with a Pokemon that draws kills from both of your opponent. Like it's a pretty common strat. I feel like we need a cool name for it. Bait stunning? Lure strat. Sex having. We're getting somewhere. Double blocking. Venting. Like in Among Us? The Trojan, the Trojan Switch. That's really cool, actually. It sounds like a, it sounds like a chess strat. We can just call it, can we just call it the German opening? <laughs> Aggro tanking. I'm gonna recheck how much damage Ice Shard does here. The blitz switch. The, the Stuttgart defense. <laughs> hmm. Huh. 
Can I go to HP that ends with two here? I'll just go to 39, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Item also kind of doesn't matter. Um. I, 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 it really does not. It does, it does not matter at all what item I go on this. Um. I guess we'll just go soft sand for damage. Be sure for dumb, it shouldn't matter. The anti death fodder strat. I don't, I like the idea of just naming strats like that, like a verb. I don't know, like pivoting, right? I, I guess like kill baiting is probably it, right? It's probably just kill baiting. Although it would specifically be a double kill bait. That doesn't sound cool. And that sounds kind of cool. Okay, do I have protect? Yeah, but I only have one PP. Two timing. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Uh... see how this goes. Let's protect and rock slide. It's 50-50 to kill a flare and I would prefer if flare on stayed alive though. Just as planned. Unlucky. Oh. Do we maybe rock tomb the Blaziken? It's always Golduck on this slot. Rock tomb the Blaziken guarantees that it dies next turn. What can Glalie do to Golduck? Like, fuck all. How much does it do to Armaldo with Rockside? That's a lot. I'd add a crit, but... It is what it is, boys. I think this is my best shot. Because otherwise I'm just dodging a crit with Golduck. I guess if he, pro if he protects, it's not even that bad. Depending on what he targets. If he, if, yeah, if he protects next turn... If he protects Blaziken next turn, I'm kind of fucked, actually. Depending on what he targets. Hmm. I'm still rock tar- I'm still rock teaming the Blaziken, I think. Because if he, if he targets... Uh... I guess next turn I can just protect Armaldo. Let's do it. Fuck it, dude.
Beautiful. Okay. I kind of need a rock slide this turn with with Armaldo. I can't really protect because that just keeps Glalie alive for another turn. We don't really want to do that. Ideally, I kill just both of them here. Okay, no protect, really good. No flinch. I didn't realize Glalie would be faster than Golduck, I'm not gonna lie. Please don't flinch, please don't flinch. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. And now it's just Snorlax. Easy. It was pretty greedy, I don't know. I, I definitely could have played this better. There was probably a better setup, kill setup here, but... I didn't want to plan for it forever, I guess. Let's do Fake Out and a uh, Rock Slide. What item does this have? Does it have a berry that I can bug by? It's got leftovers. Yeah, this feels harder than the rain team to me. It probably depends on encounters too, but... There's some encounters that just destroy the rain team, so... Cool. Damn, alright! We're past Sharon! With one death! Pretty good! With decent... Decent encounters! What a productive day, boys. I'm pretty sure the point where I last like wiped my my long run on 16 or whatever, the charge stone cave, I can get there consistently within 3 streams. <laughs> If I actually stream for longer than two hours. Um. Anyway. Let's do clip of the day and then host someone.